here all uh, in this video i'll be discussing most important questions from the subject field theory or you can call electromagnetic wave em wave uh, from module 3 or along with that i am going to discuss the important concept and uh, derivation in a simple and uh, presentable manner so i am not covering complete syllabus but uh, within a short is a short video based on the limitation concern I just explained only uh, the important concept which will be helpful for clearing the examination. If you refer watch this video, I promise you that uh, you can get at least 80% of the mark from module 3. Okay, so moving on to the discussion. Before that, I, I would like to remind you that kindly refer my module, uh, the videos from module 1 and module 2 completely. So then come back to this module 3. Okay, or a straight away also you can watch, but uh, you, may, you may not get continuity that much. So I request you to go through that particular module one and module two video first. Later, come back to module three. Surely, I promise you that uh, you can crack the examination without any doubts. Yes, uh, what are all the important questions, we'll, uh, important topics we need to cover for module three? You need to study Poisson's and Laplace equations. That der brief derivation you have to go through that. State and explain uniqueness theorem. Like uh, it may ask directly. Then capacitance of a coaxial cable, calculation of capacitance of a coaxial cable. Then what do you mean by magnetic field density? What is magnetic flux density? Then you, you should know about the BH curve. What do you mean by BH curve? Okay. These are the fundamentals. Then uh, you need to explain biot savart law. State and explain the biot savart law is one question. Otherwise, you can expect the question like uh, list out the applications of biot savart law. Next is called ampere circuit law. What do you mean by ampere circuit law? Derive an expression for ampere circuit law. What do you mean by curl? How to calculate the curl? Okay. Uh, Del cross F. You might have studied about Del cross F. Then Stokes theorem. It's application of actually curl Stokes theorem. Even Green's theorem also you might have studied about that. Then difference between electric and magnetic field. Okay. These are the important topics which you must cover uh, for the for the module uh, 3. Okay. Now I am going to show you what are all the topics you need to follow. Topics with the help of a short note, I'll be showing you the important notes which you need to fo fo focus for the exam point of view. And in parallel, you can note down what I'm going to explain and what I'm going to display. Right? Yes, let's get started without wasting. Uh, now uh, we can see the topic like uh, Poisson's and Laplace equation. So, uh, why it is required, you have to go through that. Then, basically, that equation that's very important from the Gauss law only, you can start with the derivation like a del dot v, you know, that rho v. Then d is equal to epsilon 0 e. Uh, then uh, from that expression only, we can write like a del square v is equal to minus rho v by epsilon naught. Also, one more thing like uh, del square v, if you compute del square v, that is uh, like uh, a condition you have to read. If uh, rho v is equal to 0, indicating the zero volume charge density, therefore, uh, del square v that is equal to 0. This equation is known as Laplace equation. Okay, what do you mean by Laplace equation? You, you can go for like a simple derivation. Okay, like uh, del square v in different coordinate system. What, what will happen uh, for rectangle rectangle rectangular coordinates? What about the cylindrical coordinates? What about the spherical coordinates? Make a note separately because this is most important for the exam point of view. When they, if they ask about the questions about the Laplace equation or some uh, like a similar kind of questions, you try to explain with a different coordinate. That is very important. Clear. So there are numerical examples, plenty of numerical examples are available uh, that verify whether the potential field given below satisfy the Laplace equation or not. The, the, that uh, uh, parameter is given. Now what you can do is calculate del square v or to calculate. You should know del operation, del operator. Ultimately, I'll be getting like a zero. So we can write del square v is equal to zero. That means it uh, satisfies the Laplace equation. Remember, del square v must be zero for the Laplace equation. Next, to determine the potential equation satisfy the Laplace equation. You can verify it. Same procedure. Uh, if del square v not equal to zero, then it will not satisfy the Laplace equation. If del square v is equal to zero, that will satisfy the Laplace equation. Okay, remember that because they will ask to verify you. Uh, then uh, similarly, uh, there are so many questions uh, like uh, show that the uh, the satisfy we satisfy the laplace equation in a spherical coordinates okay for the given function okay that you can uh, derive it okay so you should know the how to use the del operator pro accordingly okay ultimately uh, uh, so dou v by dou, dou theta is equal to 2a by sin theta so you need to prove that del square v should be equal to zero clear so that you are supposed to take care uh, so that that's another point so likewise, you will try to practice the numerical example, which I am going to display for you. So it will be really helpful for your university exam point of view, because the, these kind of problems, definitely they are going to ask. You need to remember ultimately del square V should be equal to zero for satisfying the Laplace equations. 
okay there are so many numerical example you try to work out okay so look at this you try to work out uh, the things are uh, like uh, you can verify the laplace equation is this correct or not you can verify okay that's all now i'll be showing moving on to another theorem called the uniqueness theorem to solve a boundary value problem this uniqueness theorem can be applied okay uh, you might have heard about the boundary condition boundary value okay uh, if the solution of the laplace equation satisfy the boundary condition then the solution is unique uh, by uh, whatever the method it is obtained. This theorem is known as uniqueness theorem. State uniqueness theorem. You may get a question. So try to go for the derivation also. Del square v1 equal to 0 and del square v2 is equal to 0. v1 is equal to v2. vd means v2 minus v1. You try to go to elaborate it. Okay. So finally what you are supposed to reach is uh, look at this. Ultimately this, this most important derivation v2 will be equal to v1. Okay. That means uh, it satisfies the boundary condition and we can say that uh, this theorem generally we call it as uh, uniqueness theorem clear so that is also most important question for the exam point of view derivation based 10 marks question you will get it then example of the solution of laplace equation uh, similarly capacitance between uh, co uh, concentric spheres okay so uh, draw the diagram accordingly then apply the laplace equations okay now what you can do is uh, you should know you should cal calculate the capacitance see so ultimately the expression will be like a c1 and c2 you can see uh, c1 and c2 if you want you can calculate the potential also okay so e will be equal to uh, field in uh, electric field strength will be equal to v naught upon 1 by b minus 1 by a r square into ar ar is the unit vector relation between d and e that is also given here okay you can verify once then capacitance will be ultimately 4 by epsilon 0 divided by 1 by a minus 1 by b parent this is actually the capacitance similarly derive the expression for capacitance of a coaxial cable draw the diagram accordingly do the initialization uh, introduce the variables, apply the Laplace equation, del square v is equal to zero. But then ultimately what you can do is uh, applying the boundary conditions. If you apply the boundary conditions and uh, doing the suitable arrangement, you will be getting uh, the final expression that, that is equal to uh, 2 pi epsilon zero divided by ln uh, b by a farad. Okay. Then there are problems based upon this particular concept, the Laplace equation. There are uh, so many problems you can expect. Okay. Try to work out this problem. All right. Yes. C is equal to Q by V. This equation also you have to remember. Yeah, read the question actually uh, carefully. So definitely you will be finding out the solutions. Okay. Okay, fine. This and other things you are supposed to take care. So go through all the numerical examples because don't know what kind of problem will be asked in the examination. By that time you should not get confused. Okay, please go through and verify it. Okay, these are the numerical examples. I require more time for explaining the numerical example. That is why I am just displaying uh, these are the varieties of numerical example which you can expect for the exam point of view. So now look at this, find the uh, V at uh, P is equal to 2, 1, 3 uh, for the field of infinite uh, radial uh, continuous plane uh, with V is equal to 50 at 5 is equal to 10 degree, V is equal to 20 at 5 is equal to 30. Del, del square V is equal to 1 by R square, uh, dou square V by dou phi square, dou V by dou phi. So ultimately two equations will be getting, two equations, two variables. Okay, we'll be getting uh, like uh, C, uh, C1 and C2. Uh, then uh, use the formula tan phi angle now angle y by x you can calculate phi is equal to uh, 26.56 you can calculate the dielectric loss everything then steady state magnetic field is another topic what is magnetic field in intensity h force experienced by the unit uh, north pole that is generally called as uh, magnetic field strength so unit will be uh, n by wb okay newton newton per weber newton per weber or ampere uh, ampere turns per meter then magnetic field density b uh, or uh, magnetic flux density, uh, like uh, total flux divided by unit area. The unit is uh, Tesla or Weber per meter square. So you may get a question from like uh, this uh, magnetic flux density, relation between B and H. B is equal to mu H. You might have heard about the relation. Then biot savart law. So why biot savart law is required, you have to explain. So you have to go for a small derivation. Magnetic field intensity I can predict at any point by using the biot savart law. Clear. using there is a standard equation ideal sin theta by 4 pi r square into dr okay it, in terms of vector form if it is not a vector form direct formula you can write it. clear so dh is equal to ideal cross ar divided by 4, 4 pi r square a ampere a ampere ampere per meter okay so this formula you are supposed to um, uh, this actually cross the, the dl cross ar okay this, these are the formulas you have to remember then by our law application by our law in terms of uh, then distributed sources such as current density J and surface current density K. So go for the derivation and note on the parameters. Ultimately, we require the expression H is equal to J 
J means current density. AR dB divided by four pi r square ambient transfer meter. So uh, these are called the bio savard law. Now uh, applications magnetic field density at any point due to current in a straight conductor so finite length. So you can use the diagram uh, then formula in the analysis. You need to apply the bio savard law. Clear. Ultimately, uh, what you are supposed to get is uh, what is the total field strength? Okay, what is the total field strength? That is equal to I by two pi r. Okay. Uh, or B is equal to mu i by 2 pi r, clear. Then magnetic field density of a uh, circular current loop. So figure is different and you have to go for the different analysis. Uh, ultimately, you should get H is equal to i by 2 r into a r. I request everybody that at least you note down all the formulas because all the formulas are important. Next is called ambient circuit law. Line integral of B about at any closed path is equal to product of current enclosed by the path and the permeability of the medium is or line integral of a magnetic field intensity h around the closed path is exactly equal to direct current enclosed by the path. Closed integral h dot dl is equal to i. This law is generally known as ampere circuit law. There is a proof is also available. You please go through the proof also. They have written very clearly the, the proof of ampere circuit law. Ultimately, I should get like a closed integral h dot dl must be is equal to i. Application like a coaxial cable, infinity long, uh, toroidal uh, coil, infinite uh, sheet of current. These are the applications. Okay. So in individually, they may ask like uh, apply the like ampere circuit law uh, and compute uh, like uh, uh, magnetic field strength at the long straight conductors. So what is the value of H? H is equal to I by 2 pi R into AR, ampere, amp, uh, ampere, ampere, ampere transfer meter. The next is actually uh, toroidal coil, toroid. Toroid is nothing but like a solenoid which is in the circular fashion. That is called as toroid. So in that also you can calculate the field strength. This is equal to Na by 2 pi r, where 2 pi r is the uh, like a perimeter. Then coaxial cable. Okay, coaxial cable also it may ask in the uh, examination. In the case of coaxial cable, I should get like uh, H is equal to pi r divided by 2 pi r square A, A pi, A, A, A pi A ampere transfer meter. So there are so many different cases are available. Go through different cases. Okay, so uh, it, it can act, it, it can expect examination. Next is called the curl. What do we mean by curl? Uh, so from the, the both law, d, d dot d is equal to q. We can uh, derive the curl. Curl is nothing but del cross h del del cross h that is equal to j. Okay, so del cross this is very important expression for the curl curl function del cross cross uh, like cross product. Okay, so that is also most important question for the exam point of view. Okay, please go through that. Okay, so you can post this particular video and you can note down. Okay, so these are the important. See, curl h is equal to del cross h that is equal to j. This is a point form of ampere circuit law. Derive the point form of ampere circuit law. At least you remember the formula del cross h that is equal to curl h that is equal to j. Clear? Okay. So it can be expressed in terms of cylindrical coordinate, spherical coordinate, etc. Stokes theorem is also very important. The line integral uh, of a vector A around the closed path L is equal to integral of curl of A over the open surfaces and enclosed by the closed path. Because proof is also most important. Ultimately, what you are supposed to do is uh, del cross uh, uh, closed integral S dot DL is equal to del cross H into DS. This uh, this is called as the Stokes theorem. Okay. Uh, you study the like a uh, uh, applications of stocks here and you can apply. So B is equal to mu is that relation you have to remember. Okay. So uh, difference between electric and magnetic field, if they ask, you can follow this. Okay. Even parameters, for example, in current is expressed in terms of electric circuit, where uh, plus C is actually represented in uh, magnetic circuit. Current density uh, in electric circuit, where plus magnetic flux density in uh, magnetic circuit. Even this expression is also different. Applications. So these are the applications. Okay. Uh, that is simple derivation you have to remember. Fine. fine. Okay. Then scalar magnetic potential. Um, these are the uh, small topics. Okay. Then vector magnetic potential that is also available. Uh, this you can compare and study. Okay. So that's all. Then uh, go for the numerical example. Let me scroll down. So kindly read the problem and uh, apply. Uh, like the del cross it means the curl. Correct now? Yeah, that you have to remember. So, so these are the important topics. So go through uh, different problems so you can see uh, the various numerical example so first of all write down the given data okay remember, remember the formula as well okay so i'm scrolling down you can just pause this particular video and try to solve it because it's a short video i cannot cover entire uh, like a topic at a time okay anyway you can uh, this is just for your reference 
just pause the video and you can uh, note down okay uh, that's all okay now you can see the, these are the important problem uh, and uh, theory part from module 3 okay anyway don't leave ampere circuit and law then biot savart law then stokes theorem etc that equation at least you can study definitely that is like uh, for clearing and all at least you have to write the equation simple statement if you cannot uh, remember the derivation okay thank you very much for watching this uh, like lecture so we, i wish you all the very best for your exam point thank you have